Hi folks, Mike Garrett of Stonewall Jackson's here. I want to tell you a little bedtime story. From the Wild West. From the late 1700s to the 1900s, nothing was more prized than the American Buffalo. But that's not the point of our story. What we're talking about today is the rifles that made that possible. Now, other than the Sharks carbine, the most popular buffalo rifle of its day was a 58 caliber black powder muzzle loader, shooting a 300 grain projectile, usually round ball, driven by 225 grains of powder. These rifles could achieve almost 2,000 feet per second. They could take a buffalo at amazing distances, up to 500 yards. That, combined with the Sharps rifle, is the reason that buffalo don't roam the plains today. These rifles were very, very heavy, range anywhere from 20 to 36 pounds, and they were created by a master gunsmith. Now today, they're not used by buffalo hunters at all. As a matter of fact, nobody hunts buffalo anymore. As a result, they're used in marksmanship contest. It's said that if you can't put three rounds inside of a half dollar at 500 meters with these rifles, might as well pack your gun and go home. Looks like I'm going to have to buy me a new gun. Hi folks, this is Mike Garrett with Stonewall Jackson's Armory and World Coin Gallery in Mineola, Texas. The question we get asked most about the 58 caliber slug gun is, have we shot it? Well, yeah, we're rednecks and it's a big gun, so we're going to shoot it. With us today is Jerry Gill of Jerry Gill's Firearms of Alva, Texas, and he's a master gunsmith. So first things first, Jerry, what do you think about the gun? Well, I think it's just about my size. I may put it in a circus any day. Okay. But you know what? I think the right person will enjoy this more than anything he's ever had because of the long range and it can certainly gong a gong at several hundreds of yards. Have you shot the gun? No, but I anticipate watching you do it today. Okay. Do you think it's safe to shoot? Absolutely safe to shoot. As long as you're at least 50 yards away from it? Exactly. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess the next thing we got to do is get to shooting. Let's look at the supplies we're going to use today. All right, now if you're gonna shoot a gun like this, you gotta have somewhat period correct material to do so. You gotta have the hat, you gotta have the ever-present Clint Eastwood style loose roll cigar, you gotta have your duster. What happened to mine? Is another one of those It's a deals? low budget film, Jerry. We only have so much, you can wear the duster after I get finished with it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right then. We also have 58 caliber, 300 grain lead ball. We've got some Hodgkins Pyrodex RS rifle shotgun powder. We've got the appropriate amount of primer caps, air protection, and a little bit of liquid courage. Now, let's have a firearm safety moment. It's never a good idea to drink and then shoot firearms. You drink afterwards. Second, because this is black powder, the cigar is not lit. You never, ever, ever want to have an ignition source around black powder. So, what do you think? Let's load her up and get to shoot. Load her up. Let's, Let's do this. Let's load her down the pipe. All right, you hold it. I got to do what? Special instructions. We here. apparently don't have a a glass. So, cut. Okay guys, here's the 58 caliber muzzle loader. Enjoy.
he's going to do for an encore. That is a 58 caliber muzzle loading slug rifle. You talk about a boom. That's fun. Let's go look at what it did to the bottles. Not one, folks, but two two liter big red bottles absolutely decimated by a 300 grain round traveling at almost 2,000 feet per second. There is nothing left of these darn things. Isn't that something? Jerry, I'd say it's safe to shoot. I'm on board with it. I agree with you. Let's I'm go on. back and do her some more. <laughs> yeah. All right. I can't hear nothing y'all are saying right now. What? Huh? Ready. Okay, guys. Full charge. 225 grains of black powder and a 300 grain projectile. Here we go. Okay, folks, I may be talking a little bit loud right now, but we just shot it at the first time for uh, at a 225 grain load and a 300 grain projectile. It's got quite a bit of boom to it. We thought we'd back up and do it again. Ready? That is a lot of fun. Okay, folks, we went down and we dug this out of the target. If you ever want to know what 300 grains of lead looks like after it hits a creosote telephone pole and goes smooth through it, there you go. That is a monster. Okay. All right, folks, we've had a lot of fun today shooting the old 58 caliber black powder slug rifle. I tell you, nothing delivers punishment like that thing. I can see why there's no more buffalo. Uh, if you're interested in this rifle, contact us at Stonewall Jackson's, Mineola, Texas. Number is 903-258-3242. Or, you may just keep the thing and shoot it for a while. Thanks a lot for joining us today and uh, have fun.